the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. You know, have you ever uh, made a sports bet at a casino? Uh, never a sports bet. No. So, I wouldn't know enough about any sport to make a bet, you know? Gotcha. Gotcha. I, uh, I, one time I went to Vegas, like many, many years ago, mm-hmm. I placed like a, it was like a $10 bet and I bet on like the NBA finals for the Celtics to win Oh boy! and they went to game seven and lost. So I like, I was so close to like pull, I would, I would have, I think I bet 10 bucks. I would have won like 300 or something. Like it was That's some, pretty good. I though. mean, yeah, it was cause I made the bet before the season even started. You know what I mean? It was like, so, um, and I made, and I think I put five dollars on the Browns to win the Super Bowl because it was like, because it was like four hundred to one odds or something stupid, you know? I was just, a million dollars. Yeah, yeah, I was like, oh, I was like, oh, I'll put five bucks on, you know, something stupid like right. that. Right. And uh, you but, would make headline news because you were the only person that bet. That. <laughs> Local man bet five dollars, won a billion <laughs> sports <laughs> bet. So, um, so there was a man who had a winning ticket for five hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. And I didn't even look up what the bet was. was $500,000. Yeah, a winning bet. Okay. And there was a video of him that went kind of viral on Twitter of him, like, storming through the casino, like, swearing and being like, y'all going to hear from my attorneys? Like, because they they wouldn't pay him out the $500,000. The bet was, like, 150. So, like, it wasn't even... Like he hit a random bet, he bet like a hundred and twenty five thousand dollars to win five hundred. So like this dude is a gambler. Yeah. Um. Why? Why wouldn't they honor it? Because he didn't place the bet himself. He he blew his own cover. He was like posting on his Instagram, being like, "I'm feeling like shit today. My book, my quote in quotes bookie, about to go place the bet for me," and he won on it. And, like, it's illegal to have someone else place a bet for So, like, whenever you're like, hey, buddy, like, can you place a bet for me at the casino? And then he tried to have to get the guy go go win, go collect the bet, and they wouldn't do it either because the bet was placed for somebody else. So it's it's illegal to place a bet for someone else at a casino. Because, really? Yeah, I didn't know that either. Even to the degree of something that's, like, in the future, like a sports bet. I can't... Yeah, I don't know why. It's probably to do with, like, gambling laws. But once they knew, because he posted it on his Instagram about it, so, like, it disqualified the bet completely. I don't know if he got his money back, like, if he got his original bet back or whatever... Um, but they, they probably they, ate that. They wouldn't pay back the guy who they wouldn't pay the guy who placed the bet because the bet was for someone else, and they wouldn't pay yeah. him. Be, yeah. And of course, he was losing his ish. He won like three hundred thousand dollars, and but he didn't. Oh, all because he didn't my. feel good enough to walk down to the casino and place the bet no. himself. If you're betting that kind of money and gotta, don't know the rules, yeah, you, you gotta a fool. know. You gotta. You know. a fool. Like oh, that's so dumb. Like and casinos, they don't care. Nope, they don't care. They got armies underground. Yeah, go in a casino and cause a ruckus. See what happens to you. <laughs> they got armies underground, man. That's I, I'm telling you, they have bunkers underneath all of those casinos that are insane. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, they got the rooms they take you to with no cameras if you're doing some wrong ish in there, man. Like you know what I mean? Like that's not just a rumor. I'm sure they got that. There's cameras on every inch of that casino, except for where they take the people who are acting a fool. I was just wondering, like, what they would actually, what they could they get away with that's like lawful? Like, who? Like a casino, like what? Like so, what? I cause a ruckus. I knock over the drink table and I grab the chips yeah, and I they throw them up. Escort you out into the area that is not seen by cameras, and then they can beat the shit out. Do whatever you want. And then I elevate you sue, right? Like, come I, on. Where's the proof? Oh, yeah, I beat my own ass. You trying to tell me that? I, yeah, I beat my own to ass. Tell me that the city ain't in cahoots with the casinos to protect them? That's disgusting. I'm they bring in so much money that. for that that city. I'm disgusted. They murdering people. We ain't murdering anybody. <laughs> no. You talking about casinos that Rico charges on a casino? <laughs> yeah, no, they ain't murdering. Honestly, that's what we need to. We're looking at Diddy. We need to be looking at the owners of the Harris Casino and Hotel. I'm telling you right now. Apparently, uh, Jay Z is uh, trying to build a new casino in New York City. I think oh. they opened one in Atlantic City, which isn't too far from New Jersey. Um, last week, I want to say, or last. Oh, month. nice. Yeah. So there's there's a uh, their idea of they want to start uh, opening up casinos in Times Square. 
Oh, that's crazy. Do you think that is a good idea? I think a casino anywhere is a good idea. Really? Oh, yeah, man. Gamble it away. I mean. Gamble it away is oh, crazy. <laughs> that's like, the crazy. Yeah, lose all your money, people. Go ahead. Bro, deep down. Gamble it away. I hope I have enough money one day where I can open a casino. Well, come on. I mean, it's possible. Hey. Anything's never possible. Never say never, bro. Like, let hey, me go. What do you want to own a casino for? So I can make more money. But it's just, it's so predatory, right? Weren't we just talking about Everybody how. Everybody is an adult and makes their own choices. Like two episodes ago, <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about how we would never endorse something that was predatory to our fan base. And now you're like, no, I want to open up a crazy town casino with your and That my has face a good on. ring to it, doesn't it? <laughs> No. <laughs> you liar. It it Crazy Town sound. Casino? Oh, it, ish. It do kind of sound nice. You have like people <laughs> eating swords walking around the thing, dude. No, no, no. That's, I don't want to take their money. I don't want to uh, promote gambling addiction. I will have a casino if I'm able. I will sell uh, condoms. Crazy Town condoms. Hole in one ums Nope, nope, nope. They will have, there will be intact condoms. You put your face on them. That's actually kind of a hot. <laughs> like, like the little reservoir tip will just be your nose. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I would like to get famous enough where I could be like, do you remember Lil B? He was like a, a he was a, a, a rap music artist. And uh, he had a thing where he would talk about how his fans should let them have intercourse with their girlfriends. You should let me. F your chick. Oh, wow. That's wild. Yeah. I was talking about a condom, not like you actually like... Well, if I'm on the face of... them out. If I'm on the face of every condom, I feel like I'm... You gotta of, wear every condom? No. <laughs> no. But if Everyone it's my is face, used by you, then repackage? It's kind of like TNT's getting in, in your girl, right? I, I, I guess. Also kind of on your dick, too. Mm. I don't want to ride a dick. Oh, and yeah, and, you get to be best of both worlds there, friend. I mean, I'm progressive, but I don't know if I'm that progressive. <laughs> I'm progressive. I don't know if that. Yeah. But, man, like, that would be really crappy to not get the bet, man, to not get the money. <laughs> man, look, you should have known. It, it, it would suck to know that you won and that you are, uh, the money can't be collected. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? I feel like that's a gotcha moment. It's, where... not, it's not with lottery tickets, though. What? Like, I can have you go buy a lottery ticket and. It's still like good. I mean, if I buy the ticket, technically it's mine. But they have like you know those uh the pools, the lotto pools and stuff. Yeah, but the person who bought the tickets technically owns the tickets. But if those other people in the pool were to bring them up on charges, oh yeah, good, yeah, good luck. I got money now. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't know what you're talking about. I got three hundred million. <laughs> Y'all ain't got no money. You're talking out of your butt, though. You know that, right? Like I, I feel like if a, if a guy, if a group of people had an agreement to, we are purchasing these group lottery tickets, and if we win, we get the money. We have an a, like a handshake agreement, a back of the napkin contract. Back of the napkin. Napkin. Those are good in court. I mean, yeah, if there's like 10 people there, like, hey, this man bought the tickets. We had a pool and he kept the money. Exactly. I mean, like, it would be a lawsuit. I feel like I've made enough promises to people where there's some people I feel like I have to take care of if I ever win the lottery. You won't, you'll be broke. You promise everybody you're going to take care of them. Um, I mean, you know, when I say take care of you, that means I send you like $10,000. And I mean, you're, thank you. Okay. That's, you're taken care of. I mean, if someone, if someone, I, you know, think just with you saying that, like, you know, pe people say that ish all the time. Like, oh, if I, got, if I win, I got you. If any person in this world just sent me 10 grand, I would not be mad. No, nobody's <laughs> going to complain about that. You will complain about that five years down the line, maybe three years down the line. Be like, all you did was give me $10,000 and I never served from him again. But no, it wouldn't end there. Obviously, once I, you know, once I've settled in, there'll be another ten thousand dollar payment. I would pay people ten thousand dollars to be out of my life. <laughs> <laughs> like, here's ten k. Don't ever call me and talk to me again. I will never talk to you again. Once Bye. you once you get the money, you learn how to flip it and make it turn into more money. I feel like there'll be more payments down the line. You know, I'm definitely gonna take care of people, but. I'm not going to necessarily, like, give you a million-dollar home and give you a brand-new car. I'm, you know, like, you, you got to take care of yourselves. But for the most part, pff, 
But you, Jonas, let, let's just keep it above you. You're coming with me, all right? Riding on the coattails. <laughs> where I go, I where I Driving go, Mr. You go. Daisy. Hey, whatever. <laughs> where I go, you go. Like, this is my driver. He does my laundry. Gets yep. my gets my groceries. <laughs> you, you can hold my credit card. My butler. <laughs> my butler. Call me G. He's snap, and I just like, yes, sir. What you like, Mr. Dynamite, sir? I would never. <laughs> I would never. That would be so funny. I'd be like, I'll do it. <laughs> for, for a million, I guess. I would so, never. All right. Anyways, that's all I'm going to have for this episode. Go to crazydown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.